Dag Mila. Dag Roosje. Wat is het allemaal? Hè? Wat is het allemaal? Hè? Hello, ba. Well, near my town. And I always notice this building. Uh, or it is glued. Or it's also tin but mortar. But the bricks are something special. It's very long. I, I don't know this. I never worked with this before. I need to check this out from closer. Maybe it has got some kind of tower. Okay, these are definitely bricks. And uh, this is glued, eh? Because the joint is is maybe three millimeter, and uh, the tin bed mortar starts from four millimeter. Mine is five millimeter. So these bricks are like one, two, three, four. These are like sixty centimeter long. There we see the the L profile to support the bricks. Yeah, it's nicely done. It looks like I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like they they just glue the brick to the L profile, the bottom line. Because I don't see any metals hanging in the vertical joint to support it. Uh, this is also random bond or wild bond. And they also go out of bond because here you see half joint is half in the brick. So this is some kind of free bond also but uh, if you see this from a distance it's nice eh? I like it so the L console uh, I need to make one in our job also I make it myself and then we go, uh, I do it to a professional company to power powder coat it, power coat it and uh, give it uh, an uh, anti-rust treatment like, um, how you call it, Verzinka. Uh, okay, this is some uh, uh, tuck work done by professional tuckers. So this is very classic, eh? it's very rough uh, because the brick is, it's a classic brick, like the old farm uh, style of house. So this is kind of rough, this is a little bit more smooth. Yeah. For me the rule is... Um, the rule is your brick need to smile so me personally i would put this brick uh, the other way around or i should check the other side of the brick better and uh, if you let the brick smile these points should be touching your wire oh uh, yeah i think every mason has his own thing but i try to follow the the rules you know but it's okay, uh, uh, it's easy to say bad things about somebody else's work, so actually I, I don't try to do this. Uh, 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 this whole street, all these new houses, is actually just finished and uh, the same company built all the houses, so it's possible it's the same tuck, tuck pointer that do all these houses. I'm just saying, um, so this is another color. Also same thing here. Huh? I put my bricks uh, differently. If you let your bricks smile, it looks better actually.
So maybe his theory is this, this line is sharp. This line is sharp and straighter. But if the brick has like this, the effect is quite different. So me, I would have turned this around. So the brick will smile. See? This one also. I would have turned this around to end these two points you put at the wire. Yeah. See one more. This is also a classic style. Oh, rough effect. So these holes here, um, oh look, still have some plastic inside. Normally, the when the, the, the joints are ready, we pull them out. These holes are there when the, it's raining a lot. So your wall gets really wet and the water will run down on the backside of your brick. And if you don't have these holes, the water can't escape. So uh, under this layer, we have a plastic going up into the uh, brick um, block wall so here you also see the openings in the stutter joints I don't know how it's called the vertical joints tot uh, so um, yeah like this the water can escape to the outside yeah and again for um, uh, I didn't explain well for the zero so when I put, make a house I I make sure this line of the brick is on the zero because the zero is the step on the front door that's your level zero and then we don't have a cut brick here but now we're gluing this also a special kind of brick this is not glued but this is the effect of gluing but it's actually made with normal mortar the brick is less uh, high on the inside but like, here you see this I want to avoid this but I will say with gluing you lose the joint here and you lose the joint there for placing this because if the brick is 5 and the bluestone is 5 then you have a 1 cm joint or more than 1 cm joint up and down to play with to put a bluestone uh, yeah. but that's why if you set your profile you take the level of the floor from the inside that's zero you put this on the profile and that's your layer you start to write down your later layers from there some stonemason is just across my job That's nice. I did this twice. Also, I make the pavement with this kind of bricks. So let's take a look at our brick. If I take a brick, I would place it like. So you see these sides. These are both good sides actually. They're quite straight. So if I take my brick, I see the line in the brick. I see a line so I would place it like this it has a smiling effect because if you place them all like this it's a quite a different view let's take a look at this one so you can say this has the sharpest edge so I don't always let them smile it just depends uh, by uh, it depends of the brick uh, sometimes I would, yeah, place it differently. Yeah, so this one is definitely like this. Huh? I would place this one definitely upside up. Other side. 
yeah, I would place this side to the wire. So uh, Alan Mason takes a look at his brick before he plays it and uh, there he decides how to place it so yeah like that. so also so you should also have the sharp edge to the wire if it's if there is a side too rounded it's also no good so maybe you need to change your theory you just need to look for a, a good side it's everything looks conform you know that's the the brick layer huh? so but anyway uh the general rule is um uh, your brick should be smiling okay the, so uh, one more thing this is the old building the old house with uh let's see this is the stretcher 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 header 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 so this is the cross bond and this is the real deal this is the the one brick wall so it's not just for show, this is the real structural uh, masonry. And the joints here, that's why I stop here. You see this, I don't know if you have this overseas, but the joints are uh, are actually outside your wall. We call it cutting, knipa. You know, cutting with a scissor in Dutch is knipa. So, yeah, it's not easy to make. Eh? Uh, a good tucker, they still do it. Uh, not all tuckers, I guess.